Pilar del Barrio, and this is one of the artists, Envira Contreras, who's going to share a little bit about what her art is uh, offering the community here in El Paso. Good evening, Envira. Thank you. Could you please share some thoughts about maybe your inspiration for these pieces, uh, uh, a little bit about yourself? Well, um, my art, in my art, I want to express the connection that we all have with each other, with the world, the people that we know and love. And so I wanted to have that type of connection with uh, all the pieces. So I decided to meet people that I know and that inspire me. For instance, in this one, I named Emma. I was impressed by a photo of my friend Raina, and the, I wanted to express the tenderness between my mother and my daughter. And she really loves her daughter. And so I thought I brought that across to everyone I'm sure they all understand the, that feeling. And the second painting, which is a painting representation of the Virgin Mary, I've always wanted to paint her because she's been my guide and inspiration in my whole life. And I decided to um, paint it just for me as a religious reminder of my roots. But I named it Mary so that it would just have a special meaning for everyone. And it would just be a humble moment. Is there a need for anybody to turn to at another time of the day? On this third one that I have, oh, it's, uh, it has the most special meaning to me because I'm painting of my daughter as a child. She's my firstborn, so uh, you know, I thought it would find it easy to paint her, but then I started wondering, hey, am I going to really show the love that I feel for her? And I actually did, so I hope you enjoy it also. But the ones that are so much fun for me to paint for these fellow animals. I always admired the dedication and the training that ballerinas have. Not only in the classical style of ballet, it is so flowing and so romantic, but also in the modernistic ballet, which requires so much precise body movement. And so that is just a short bit of my painting. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or anything, you can contact me through. Well, I have one question. I, I noticed that the techniques used are are different from piece to piece. Which one um, of your techniques are you enjoying the most doing? I like all of them. I like to try my two different techniques. But my favorite is because you have so much freedom of movement. You can just put down a book of paint and you can just spread it on the canvas and make your expressionistic painting. You can make it come to life. So I would I'd like to stick with oil, but I am open to any Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your art with us here in the El Paso community. And we look forward to seeing more of your art here at Agave Rosa Thank you. Thank you so much. So, okay. More questions? Well, thanks again. And uh, you're welcome to, to uh, look through the gallery. There are other, This is the closing for the uh, Navidad en el Barrio 2013 uh, exhibit. And there are other artists, well-known artists in El Paso, like Martha. And uh, Francisco Miranda, Daniel Padilla, Hector Bernal, and uh, Romis Repujado, which she's uh, very good at, at her work. So, and uh, Sandra Murillo, who does an acoustic uh, painting on uh, textiles. And she's also a very talented person. Uh, Geo Gámez that uh, paints these uh, women that you see on the fireplace. So please uh, go ahead and, and look through. Yes, Professor Gunayana is my noble her. I didn't say that she's a well well known artist in El Paso and also in our instruction. So she's her art is very beautiful and impressionist and it's that right. Your art impressionist. Yes. Oh, thank you. Have to look at her work. She's good at it. She started and, she studied under Alexander Titovitz. He's a very famous Russian impressionist. So, and, and you'll see this extension in uh -huh. there. 
uh, evidence. So let me thank you very much. Uh, today was the last day of this year that the gallery is open. Uh, we will open again on February the 8th for my solo exhibition. You are all invited to come. And if you leave your email or telephone number or address, I will be sure that and send an invitation to you. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Enjoy the party. Thank you.